Hello, I'm Chris Williams from Read Comics, They're Bad For You, the name of my YouTube channel. Or if you're watching this on BitChute, the name of that channel is Comic Freak. Apparently, Disney and Marvel are now in hot water with the daughter of Stan Lee, who, in her own words, mistreated her father badly. She's very angry at what Disney and Marvel are doing with the characters that her father created, and she's ex happy and ecstatic that Sony has broken off their deal with Marvel and Disney. Now that the rights are up for Spider-Man not being in the MCU, well, she is, in her own words, seen some justice given to her father's memory. That the company that he worked so hard for, but in the end didn't care when he even died, is having trouble with their business. The late Stan Lee, who co-created Spider-Man and would have been happy over the news that Sony pumped the brakes on giving Disney control of his character, so says his daughter, Sony's move to limit control over Spider-Man and potentially remove the superhero entirely from Disney Marvel Comics universe is one that was necessary and something Stan would have appreciated, so says her daughter, Joan Celia Lee. Reports surfaced Tuesday that Sony and Disney reached a standstill in negotiating Spidey's future under Disney's umbrella, including any Avengers spin-offs, sequels, insiders told Deadline. It was all about money. Disney wanted a 50-50 stake in Spider-Man-related revenue and also wanted Marvel honcho Kevin Feige to be a guiding hand. And as you can see, Jones is probably very happy that the deal is over. This article goes on with, well, Sony was reportedly not too down with that. They owned the rights to Spider-Man and until now had partnered with Disney to crank out those last few films. That's all over now. As for how the Lees feel about it now, Joan tells us Marvel and Disney seeking total control of my father's creations must be checked and balanced by others who, while still seeking to profit, have genuine respect for Stan Lee and his legacy, a.k.a. cameos don't cut it. Especially cameos that put an old man in danger. He was never actually put in physical harm, but he was physically exhausted from him having to spend all of his time doing these little cameo appearances as well as going out to every single comic book convention promoting Disney and Marvel products. The article continues with, she goes on whether it's Sony or someone else's the continued evolution of Stan's characters and his legacy deserves multiple points of view. When my father died, no one from Marvel or Disney reached out to me from day one. They have commoditized my father's work and never shown him or his legacy any respect or decency. Jones' parting words in the end, no one could have treated my father worse than Marvel and Disney executives. Another article covering the same Statement from Joan Lee was Stan Lee's daughter, J.C. Lee, rips Marvel and Disney. No one could have treated my father worse. Stan Lee's daughter, Joan Celia Lee, ripped Marvel and Disney executives while siding with Sony in the dispute over Spider-Man being in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. J.C. spoke with TMZ about Spider-Man exiting the MCU. That's mostly stuff we've just covered, so I'll move on. With a little bit about how Brie Larson had basically received backlash over Instagram tribute to Stan Lee. Yeah, Brie Larson doing any kind of tribute to Stan Lee is just her trying to, well, virtue signal that she's a good person and she wants to basically tap dance over Stan Lee's grave saying how good a person she is and how great Stan Lee was when in her she probably is a leftist little witch who probably thought Stan Lee was a horrible racist and bigot and who probably thought he mistreated women. After that little bit the article even mentions Kevin Feige invokes Stan Lee's name, says Marvel movies created to push a worldview that is the right way to be. 
you know, considering the way Hollywood is, I don't trust it any more than it's probably leftist commie bull. Other MCU actors had just had to barge in on this interview as well. Before JC made her public comments to TMZ, Hawkeye actor Jimmy Ranner took to Instagram to ask Sony to bring Spider-Man back to the MCU. Renner invokes Stan Lee, writing, Hey, Sony Pictures, we want Spider-Man back to Stan Lee and Marvel, please. Thank you. In his own arrogant way, because he's an actor and they can't think of any other ways to do it by being, except being arrogant, leftist cucks. Reports about the split between Disney and Sony indicated Disney wanted a larger take of the box office we've already covered. And we already know that Sony just wants to renegotiate this or just keep the terms the way they are so they have the superior, well, share of the money that they're getting from these movies with Spider-Man. Related, Sony responds to Tom Holland's Spider-Man exiting the MCU, MCU, we are disappointed. Not as much as every leftist cuck who seems to think this is doomsday. But at least uh, some people, like Joan Lee, are actually happy about this and see a possibility of the world becoming a little bit brighter because of it. Multiple petitions have been signed to get Spider-Man back into the MCU. The largest currently is upwards to 75,000 signatures. Uh, related, petition launched to keep Tom Holland's Spider-Man in the M Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I hope they fail. What do you make of J.C. Lee's comments regarding Spider-Man and the MCU? What about her comments regarding Marvel and Disney executives? Well, I have to agree with her comments if you're asking me. Anyone else have their has their own opinion if they like well, Marvel or Sony or Disney, they all have their own opinions. Mine is that I don't trust any of them, and at least there's some justice for Stan Lee now that at least Marvel is get, and Disney aren't getting their way all the time. That they still have hurdles that they have to cross, and they I hope they don't ever permanently actually, well, get Spider-Man's rights back. I want Marvel or to keep making movies, and if they need to make m movies at other th other studios like Sony, I hope they do that because those are good movies. Well, the original Sam Raimi movies were good. Three was ba sort of bad, but but Spider Man Two was a great movie. I mean, it was. Pretty good. I had my problems with it, but it had a great style and the way it all felt was all genuinely good. Even if I didn't like the fact that Dr. Octopus was basically being mind controlled by his robotic limbs, that I could have done away with. I will tell, also tell you this about Joan Lee. I'm ha glad her and her father were on good terms and that he was with his family when he passed. At least that's some justice to Stan Lee, that he at least he had a loving family. And it's too bad that in the last year of his life, he went through so much turmoil and ridiculousness before he died. But at the end, he was with his family and he was happy when he passed. We can always remember that. Now, my words on whether Sony should just keep the rights to Spider-Man and never make another MCU movie with him in it, or that, well, they do have Venom and they do have the other Spider-Man universe characters, then they could do their own universe. We're only saying that because we want to, like the X-Men movies, we want something different than the MCU. Much like the way they... Well, tried to disappear the X-Men. Most likely, Marvel Comics would disappear Spider-Man, and that's a shame. But look at it this way. At least we won't have what happened in The Age of Ultron, the second Avengers movie, where we have a big bad robot singing a song from Pinocchio. Or how the other MCU Spider-Man films aren't all that great, in my opinion. The first one was just... Well, bad. I didn't enjoy it. So maybe we won't have to endure any more of those. I have yet to see the second one, but I will eventually. Who knows? Maybe I'll enjoy it. But I didn't enjoy the last one, so who can say? But at least we 
Spider-Man out of the MCU, I won't have to endure any more of those movies if I do not enjoy the second MCU Spider-Man. So if you like this video, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. If you're watching my videos but you have not subscribed, just subscribe to me and get all my videos. Hit that bell for notifications. Hit that like button and leave some comments down below. Subscribe to me on YouTube at Read Comics, They're Bad For You. And go over to BitChoot and subscribe to my BitChoot channel, Comic Freak. And also, if you could, could you please share this video on social media? Share it on Twitter and share it on Facebook. Share it anywhere you think it would do the best or most good. Because YouTube refuses to help their creators anymore. And it would really help me if you could share this video. Also... Keep checking back in future videos for more information on my own upcoming independent comic book, Scum Dogs. I'm Chris Williams, and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video and review.